was booming yes your boy shinko floor and um i had a video that i wanted to make for you guys with my voice in regards to my personal opinion on the leaks uh but i just have to switch gears in regards to the newest news that popped up apparently dsp's lackey oic is stepping out of the spotlight because of the leaks um he went to kiwi farms and i guess posted something uh, i got one of the posts here um i'm just reading and i'm, I'm a little bit stunned because this is straight out of dsp's uh playbook so i just wanted to just read it out i'll have the post on the video so you can read along or you can read faster than me whatever and um i'll just give you my thoughts on it real quick so here it goes i honestly don't know how long this will end up being but here it goes anyway i really don't have too much to say other than i was misled by someone who i thought was actually in dire need of financial support only to find out they have not only been frivolously spending every dollar they make but lying about it for the past few years as well to say i'm hurt by this would be an understatement of the century however with that said i still wish no ill will on this person I'm ultimately not here for revenge, but for closure instead. I have thought about this for the past few days since the most recent leaks have all but confirmed our suspicions regarding his spending habits. I always told myself from the start, if there was conclusive proof beyond a reasonable doubt regarding everything I would that I would leave, which brings me here today. Now, OIC, I have two questions to ask you. No, actually, I just it's one question, but you know, I need you to pick which is it for me is it the a or b a being that you're lying um, which I'm, I'm i'm leaning towards or b are you that fucking stupid it, it's one of the two because seriously speaking what made you decide to give this man money specifically i'm i'm i'm, I'm this is towards option b where you're that fucking stupid what made you decide what made you decide Hey, I'm going to keep spending my money on Phil. Honestly. The man doesn't do anything to deserve that money. That man has shown that he is irresponsible with his money. It was shown during the bankruptcy. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even going to go that way down that route because again my whole shtick is the shit that he does online so i'm not even gonna go behind the scene none of that shit i'm talking about the shit that he does online you see that he goes ahead and talks about how he spends his money what made you decide you know what he's in trouble i'm gonna give him money what man do you know lives in a condo that's within a gated community and has financial troubles that's not just for you oic that goes for each and every one of you goddamn pay pigs because that it, it's really mind-boggling what person do you know that's in financial dire straits that dire financial straits excuse me and lives in a condo within a gated community what person do you know that's in f dire financial straits and is able to order out every time they have a quote unquote day off. And not just order from a restaurant, order from a restaurant via a third party which subjects them to fees. So that means they have to spend more money. What person do you know? That just says that just they they're just going through a rough patch, and they can literally just walk up to somebody and say, "Hey, can you give me money? Because if you don't give me money, I'm gonna be homeless." And be okay. That's why I have to ask. Like that's why I have to lean towards you being stupid. Okay, and the thing is, it didn't have to take the leaks to show he was bad with money. You gave this man money behind the scenes and he kept begging for it that should have been a red flag for you my dude but see it wasn't because you know why you weren't being lied to you weren't being conned you weren't being you know 
you weren't being um what's the word i'm looking for deceived sorry i'm having a timbo moment you want to know why because you were complicit in this shit you were fucking complicit in this let me keep going as for leaking receipts and dropping bombshells, that was never my intention for creating this post. As I've already discussed with the mods here, it would just lead to further issues for everyone involved and not worth the trouble at this time. I already know this is going to inevitably piss a lot of you off, but I'm sure you all can already imagine that what the receipts would be anyway since you were all correct on every theory minus the escort theory. Plus, I'm not here to be your friends or gang any sympathy points at the end of the day i'm going to be the bigger person than phil and not bring him down any further than he already is he has already he already has enough to deal with as it stands because of you oh i see imagine if you didn't give phil that money imagine if you didn't enable him He would have gotten a reality check and either gone the way of the dodo or he would have got his shit together and turned it around. But no, he didn't because you became his crutch. You became his enabler. You became his buffer from criticism. So the shit that he has to deal with, that's on you, dude, because you put him on that road. And you made sure he stayed on it. And I'm going to finish. I want to finish this thought, but I have to finish the rest of this uh, uh, post because I know you guys hate the fact that, you know, that I'm reading. As for all the other rumors, you guys are free to believe what you want to believe. I won't stop you from that. I can't prove or disprove anything either. So it's kind of a moot point to even bring it up. After I hit the post reply button to this post... I will be changing my username, profile picture, and credentials to this account so that it may lie dormant for the rest of time. The last seen viewing portion of the profile has also been made public as well, so anyone can see if this account has been logged in again. I am doing this for myself and no one else. After tonight, I'm going my own way and never coming back. I also want to formally apologize to both Anani and Super Crazy. I'm not going into why because I'm sure everyone knows by now. Sorry for going after you two. Obviously, neither of you deserved it. Best of luck in your future detracting endeavors, whether it be in YouTube videos or live streaming. You both obviously have the talent for making quality content. And then he hits us off with a biblical quote. And then he has to say, peace out, fuckers. And then on top of that, like, I just, like, it's, it's a lot to process, but... At the end of the day, this is all done for attention. And you're getting it. You're getting it. You know, and you can tell he's done this for attention. Because the last time I saw a post from this Frogger profile, it had Cat's picture on it. Now it has some smooth fucking chat. Like, he did this shit for attention, dude. And you got it. But just understand what kind of attention that you got. You just got people looking at you. That's about it. And when they look at you, they see a loser, man. They see a fucking loser. They see a man that took money that could have went to somebody that really needed it. That could have fed children. That could have put clothes on people's backs. That could have put roofs over people's heads. And you gave it to a fat, middle-aged man. For what? For attention. For clout. You went even went and you dock and you went and you doxed people. You doxed people in the name of this same man. That's why I don't, I, I don't think that you get to walk away from this. Because you helped this man perpetuate the problem. Like, you doxed people, my guy. And that was one of the reasons why I wanted to make a post about my position on the leaks and why I personally did not feel bad for Phil at all about the leaks and how they were obtained was because of the simple fact of PW dubs. I don't remember PW Dubs where he went ahead and f gave Phil his ID to prove that it was him. And all Phil had to do was tell his mods, hey, that's PW Dubs. But went ahead and forwarded that information to his mods. That personal information that was meant for Phil's eyes only. 
And people didn't see a problem with that, but I did because you want to know why? Because the same shit that's happening to Phil now could have happened to PW Dubs back then. And the same shit could have happened to Anani and Super Crazy. So no, you don't get to just say, oh no, I'm sorry guys, and walk away from this. Just understand that you're a vile human being, a loser. And when it comes to this DSP bullshit, you did this because you want to be in the spotlight, but understand you were in the spotlight and you will always be a loser. You will always be the Igor to his Frankenstein. Okay? You will always be the Dwight to his Michael, except you're not funny. You're not smart. That's what it is. It's a guy that needed some attention, so he went ahead and helped a fat, middle-aged man spiral into a self-destructive path. So yeah, pe pe peace out, man. I hope you enjoy lurking and seeing what people are saying about you. But just understand that. You're a loser. You're a loser that you could that could have changed the world for the better, but decided to go ahead and get clout. Also understand the last the reason why I'm making this rant is because I'm never gonna mention you again. I'm never gonna type in those words OIC. Oh, I'm not gonna go ahead and respond on Twitter to anything that you fucking do. I'm not gonna go ahead and use that little ice coffee cup JPEG to represent you in any of my videos. You're done. You're a loser that's not gonna be worth any more of my time after this. And for all the other detractors too, same thing. You're just a loser in their eyes. And you're just gonna be a footnote in DSP history, that's it.